McClendon. Well, when lawmakers return to the Capitol this month, they face close to 2,000 new bills and another 1,000 carried over from last session. And of these, 15 are the direct result of a program called READY, which is short for the Rural Economic Development Initiative, a bipartisan program aimed at revitalizing rural Oklahoma. Our Elisa Hines reports. Oklahoma's rural economy is in transition, and to get ready for the future, Lawmakers spent much of the fall visiting rural areas, trying to identify common needs and goals with a program called READY. We actually toured Oklahoma 12 different communities. Uh, we did that over about a, a seven week period and uh, it was a great experience for me, a great learning experience. Dale DeWitt is chair of the House Ag Committee and heads up the Rural Caucus and says while each of the towns they visited is unique, Many of their challenges are very similar. You know, one of the major things we need in the communities uh, is, is infrastructure. Another one is housing. You know, all of our small communities need, need housing. So we have a, uh, an accelerated depreciation scale coming out in some legislation to actually move that from 30 years to 10 years, and that should be attractive to developers. In addition, the ready legislation would double the amount counties receive from vehicle tags from 15 percent up to 30 percent, which would help county governments fund improvements to rural roads. You've got to have infrastructure. Once you get the infrastructure, you're going to draw the housing. Once you draw the housing, I think that we will see jobs and, and, and people moving into those communities. And, uh, you know, I think it, the trend is for people to move out of the large cities into some of the, the, the rural areas and actually make a, a short commute into work. And so once we get that infrastructure and our housing and can attract those people out there, the businesses and, and uh, uh, industry will come, I think. Information from a questionnaire sent out by Reddy indicates another need. Wes Watkins is a former congressman and driving force behind Reddy. A lot of people indicated they had some trouble with training and they needed some help with having people train. Training area career tech centers are willing to do. Bill Birkenbeil is the state director of the Oklahoma Department of Career and Technology Education. We were clear up front that, that we wanted to help any way we can because we see this as another chance for career tech to step up in the economic development realm and help Oklahoma citizens be successful. Making ready an economic advantage for rural Oklahoma. Well, Congressman Wes Watkins was instrumental in the Ready Initiative, which is no surprise. Throughout his congressional career, Watkins was known for his emphasis on rural issues. Joining me now here in our Career Tech Studios is longtime Congressman Wes Watkins. Well, when and if these laws are passed, what happens then with the Ready Initiative? The legislation uh, we're meeting on, we're trying to get some legislation introduced this session, and some of it will, uh, we hope, institutionalize some rural economic development initiatives that we can carry on years on down the road. So what do we do when it comes to finances? Because that really does seem to be sometimes a problem, attracting that capital into rural Oklahoma. One of the first things in nearly everything we've done on rural economic development, we had to put together a financing package. We had to provide them some means to expand. Uh, unless you're a public health company, public stock issued company, you had to kind of work out the financing for that. That's why I established Rural Enterprises, which is the most comprehensive economic development uh, program in the United States. Rural Enterprises, Inc. That's it. Rural Enterprises, Inc. Uh, established it for that very reason, because we did not have some of the same things that the, uh, our city cousins, city business industries have. And you have to have that uh, if you're going to be able to help an industry expand to your area, or a new product start up, and some things like that. And I've been uh, very pleased with what Rural Enterprises has been able to do. What we really are wanting to do now is be able to do it statewide more. Uh, and, you know, I told people uh, something that we found. We found out our economic problems, how bad they were early in our area. A lot of people in western Oklahoma didn't because their income levels were higher, but their children could not come back home. And you can be shocked when you go out through the western part of the state and see some of the uh, communities that used to be very thriving little communities now uh, look like ghost towns. It doesn't mean we've got all of our problems solved in eastern Oklahoma, mm -hmm. but it means that if some of the things that worked there, we need to be trying to implement and work throughout the state of Oklahoma. 
And it does almost seem like some of the problems that we saw in the 70s and 80s in eastern Oklahoma are being recreated out in western Oklahoma. Does that have a lot to do with technology and about people just leaving the area, the lack of jobs for these people? Correct. Uh, one of the key things I have stressed in this whole program ready, we're going to be concerned about building off-farm jobs. You know, I, I t best example I can tell people, back in 1959-60, I served as state president of the Oklahoma FFA. I used to make speeches all over the state of Oklahoma and say, there's 16 percent of us in the production of agriculture. And today, if I make that speech, it's 1.5 percent. Now, you were a 10-term congressman, and oftentimes when people do retire, they typically will stay in the D.C. area. But you've come back, and you've come back to rural Oklahoma. Well, it's because uh, I, have had a, I have a burning passion for it. My wife uh, knows me well. She says I get up thinking about it, and I ought to go to bed uh, uh, thinking about it. Families are being destroyed every day because of the lack of jobs. Ministers will tell you that it's one of the greatest causes of divorce or causes of separations and problems in families. So I hope the work that I've been trying to do is acceptable to my creator and maker because uh, I have spent uh, my life doing it. And I think if I can help a few stay and live and work and raise their families in Oklahoma in the rural areas of the state, then I think maybe uh, I've done a service. Well, Congressman, we certainly appreciate you coming by, and we certainly appreciate that your retirement it sounds like it's awfully busy. It's going to help the whole <laughs> entire state. <laughs> I don't know about retirement. I've got to find out how to use that one of these days. <laughs> All right. Well, we certainly appreciate you coming by. Thank you.